Good morning and welcome to the Made in the AM podcast. My name is Fia and I'm coming to you a bit earlier today, which is why there's not a lot of light out. Um, so we have to make do. I, as you can see, turned off the lights behind me. I've turned on some lights uh, beside me and I hope that it'll be okay. Let me just show you my mark here. Well, you can't argue with a mark. Oh, it's still too warm. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you've been good um, this past week. As I mentioned last time, I had a birthday. Um, <laughs> I didn't know if I, if I told you last time, but we had a bit of a funny... Well, last year my mum kept telling the nurses uh, at the hospital uh, that I was 34 when I just turned 33. And this year my dad kept saying, oh, but you're, you're half way to 40 now. I was like, what? Because he, well, he did remember the year I was born, but apparently he failed math on that one. So yeah, none of my parents know how old I am. <laughs> and they were both there for the, the uh, event. Even if my mom did say that she did not give birth to the monkey on her chest. I will say, babies, when they just come out, not cute. So, I totally get her. Anyway, speaking of my mother, my FO this week is socks for my mother. Now, the good thing about my mum, beside her request like four weeks before Christmas or three weeks before Christmas, I think it was, is that her she likes ankle socks and she has tiny feet so one sock two socks this is the uh, regia world cup that i couldn't remember last time um must have been 2012 Should have looked that up, really. Um, but yeah, shorty socks, nothing exciting, just a plain toe up sock, 56 stitches. I did do the double. Let's see if I stuff this sock into this one. Maybe we can get a bit of. My sock bloggers don't fit my mom's feet. But if you can see down here, this is a toe up, and down here at the bottom of the foot, you have you increase twice and do a short row. And the turtle girl, turtle girl, and some numbers. Sorry, I can't remember. Uh, she did a recipe for this. And I think the, the pattern that I actually used was by Chrissy Haynes or something. It's a button double gosset or something like that. I like the way it fits around the ball of the heel. Uh, on me at least, and my mom hasn't complained, so... Well, she doesn't get a lot of say in what kind of socks she, she gets, or the yarn for it, as I usually just use leftovers. Um, I have a pair of socks like this, only mine were full length socks. But yeah, an FO. And not only do I have an FO, I have a new sock on the needles for her. Same thing. Uh, toe up, 
I've done the first increases here, you can't really tell. And I'm about to do the second set of increases. Now, if I could do a regular to uh, cough down sock with a regular gosset that didn't require me picking up stitches, I would probably do that because it does fit really nicely on my foot. Um, but the only way I have found out that you can do a gusset heel is doing it this way. And the way it cups my heel does. Okay, that doesn't. That gave me associations for something completely different. Sorry, lost my train of thought here. Um, but yeah, I'm making these with a gusset heel. I am planning a third pair. I haven't got any idea of how many pairs I'm going to knit. It'll just be I'm going to continuously knit these until Christmas. So yay for you, you get to see boring socks. Uh, it's not the only thing I'm working on. But yeah, this I'll do the increases, do the heel, it'll fit her foot nicely. And this here, this is London House Yarns. Um, I don't know what her sock base is called. And it's the four founders colorway. I have socks in the same colorway. Actually, if you follow me on Instagram where I'm Bon Goif, um, you probably saw my uh, photo from uh, yesterday where I was wearing my own socks and knitting this. And it was just a happy coincidence. Um, I hadn't noticed until I looked down at my feet and saw, so, oh. Because yes, I am old and use, I have a stressless reclining chair and a foot wrist and you, not only am I saying this, but a friend of mine claims the same, you sleep perfectly well in the uh, stressless uh, chairs. Yeah. I have fallen asleep watching Midsummer Murders of all things. <laughs> Um, sitting in my reclining chair, knitting. How's that for being 80? Now, those are the socks for my mum. And staying with the London House Yarns theme, I have also been knitting some more on my All I Want shawl. It's a Hohi Locatelli pattern. Um, for meant for worsted weight. This is very much not worsted weight. This is fingering weight. It's the Quitch Quitch base. Um in the The Cursed Shawl, sorry. It's a complete um completely forgot what it was called for a moment there. This is very much a fingering weight yarn and I decided to just keep doing increases until I had used 70 grams of my yarn, or approximately. Now, the last time I showed you, I was down here, that's one repeat and this is one repeat of the lace, so I'm now and lace is just uh, lace just looks so modelled up when you haven't uh, blocked it. But yeah, this is the lace part. And in the pattern for remember the the worsted weight version, you do one repeat in the main color and then two repeats of the lace in the contrast in colour. Now, I have, sorry about all the bending, I have plenty of yarn left. Isn't that gorgeous? It so perfectly reminds me of uh, 
the book cover. But yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to do the three, possibly four repeats. It is big, biggy, pretty big already. It's not quite my wingspan, but another repeat, and I think will hit my wingspan. And I'm showing you that off camera, I know. So it'll be a nice big shawl that I could just wrap myself up in. And it'll be nice and cosy for the very mild winter we're having. I'm sure this means we'll have a terrible winter or really cold winter come January. Because that's been the case uh, previous years. But yeah. It doesn't look like a lot of progress, but there has been some progress. Now the last thing I've been knitting on and still in this bag and I feel like I'm showing you the same things over and over um, if I was monogamous I'd get things done faster but this would take like five minutes this is the blue owl sweater and I am tangled up a bit And you've seen this before, it's the Hedgehog Pollen and the Regina, Herbstblatt Regina St. Martin colorway for the main color. And last time I was here and now I'm all the way down here, which I tried it on yesterday. I put it on two circular needles. Um, Oh, and this is knit on 3.5 millimeter needles. Um, this, my socks are knit on 2.25 millimeter needles, and my shawl is knit on 4 millimeter needles. Just if you're keeping uh, up. But this now reaches about my belly button, a little past my belly button, possibly. So I'm in the home stretch. Having said that, I will need to add another 15 rows or so of 13 rows of stockinette, which is just round and round, but of course, alternating skeins which is why I have it in a bag, because I keep losing these skeins all over the place, or these bolts all over the place. But I'm, I am alternating every row, so it's not as mindless because there's some yarn management going on. But do you like working on it and knowing that Okay, it's another 13 rows, and then I have to do, I think it's a 2x2 two by, two by two rib on 3mm needles for another, for 6.5cm? Yeah, that'll be killer. And then I have to do the sleeves. 3 quarter length, because I don't, I don't want full length sleeves, especially in this. I don't know. I just I just see it as a three quarter length sleeve and I'm not sure what the pattern says. I think the pattern's for full length sleeves. The pattern is by Suvi Simula and it is available on Ravelry. And I just love the trans this and I especially love the little jog on the, the back that you it's intentionally put in there. The neck opening is missing a rib. 
I'm planning on doing the rip for that before I do the sleeves. Just because when I've slogged through the sleeves, I don't want to have to go back and do something else. Because sleeves are boring and they take forever. At least, that's my experience. So, that's all the knitting done. And you might notice that I'm wearing something, something that was previous, previously on that hanger there. So I'm just going to try my tea again. Much better. But yes, this is my Dahlia dress. It's a colored pattern and the fabric is by It's someone for uh, Robert Kaufmann. Yeah. Anyway, let me just stand up. There are some fit issues. It fits rather nicely around the bust. The back is, this is so elegant, is another question. Um, but it fits and it's quite comfortable. What I did do is, if you can see here, I gathered in the sleeves on both sides. I could probably have done with taking in a bit more. I have learned from this that I will need to do some, um, well, what I plan to do if I do this again. I'm not sure I'm going to do this version again. I, uh, I do know that I'm going to do the summer version, which is a sleeveless, just strappy uh, version, because I have the fabric for that, and I have the zipper and the uh, ribbon already waiting for it, for when I want to tackle it. I am still, well, in theory, I'm still working on my uh, shirt, but I haven't done any actual uh, work on it. Mostly because I've had company and didn't feel like dragging out my sewing machine. Because even though I love it and it loves me, it, I do need time and I do need the space to do anything. So it's at the next step on the shirt is a bit complicated. I need to be in the right frame of mind for that. Um, I just haven't... I haven't uh, been... Yeah. I just haven't been. But if I were to make this again, and I can see myself making this again, I will have to alter the sleeves maybe make them go in a bit more but at least i will have to um somehow make them smaller as well as the back make it smaller not go down a size because it does i need to fit around it's just up here there's too much fabric so it would be yeah, just an adjustment to both the back and the sleeves. Uh, it wouldn't be a big adjustment because if I do it all over, it wouldn't be that much of a difference, I don't think. But I don't know. We shall see. I shall experiment a bit before I make another one. And I did hem it and um, yeah. It needs a wash, uh, let's be honest, <laughs> but I wanted to show you before I did wash it. And that's about it, I think. Should be hopefully a bit shorter this week, which means it'll upload faster. Um, I do have a meeting that I have to leave for in like 20 minutes, so short is good. <laughs> but yeah, dress, 
not worked on the shirt. I have the buttons picked out for the shirt, I think. They're probably smaller than what the than what Colette has asked for. But I like them. It's just simple uh, mother of pearl. Or maybe I won't use those. Maybe I'll just use the simple white buttons. I have more than enough of them. I think yeah. Always pick pick the easy part, picking out the buttons, instead of doing the part of a part, which is the cuff. And yeah, it'll be an experiment, and it'll prepare me for when I do it in the Liberty fabric, which scares me a bit. So yeah, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful week until I see you next time. Bye.